never taken stats before. I have no idea what stats is. And this was actually fine. Hey Ratsters, welcome to Stats 250, Introductory Statistics. I had Gunderson, so she's one of the people who usually teaches Stats 250. People say she's the best, so that's why I took it with the best. She was pretty good, so no complaints here. For the course, you need a course pack. You actually should get this, okay? This is actually really helpful because it has the practice problems in here. I don't even know, but you can, there's like actual practice problems that you do while she is doing it during lecture. So highly recommend buying this. I would say it was 30, and I think it was $40, okay? So get one of these, definitely very helpful. This was one of the few classes where the discussions were actually very good. So you have to use R and R commander. I had no idea what that was. I was like, this is ridiculous. Like I'm not coding. I don't, I barely know how to use my computer, okay? But I had to download this like R and R commander onto my computer. For part of our homework assignment, you had to like replicate a graph using these tools. So going to lecture or going to discussion was actually really helpful because they helped with that. And overall, I really liked the discussion. Crazy, I know, but yeah, it was actually not too bad. The lectures were fine. I really kind of liked having the course pack. And then also on your phone, Reef, like iCloud, iClicker, Reef. So during lecture, we would have iClicker questions. They didn't count for anything. It was just like per for participation, but if you got it wrong, it was like whatever. So I really liked that as well because then you had to participate. There were three exams, all fairly simple, fairly straightforward. People say that the second exam is the most difficult. I did well on all of them, so I can't really tell. They are very fair with the grades. They will average it out, so it's like there's three different algorithms they can use, and then the highest grade that you get they'll give to you, which is really great. But the one complaint I have about this course is the homework. So each week you had this thing called coursework. It was this online homework. You had like a couple tries in order to get the answer right, and it was just, some of them were good and straightforward, but some of them were just so hard. So then you'd have to go to the stats office hours which were good, I guess, because there were always people there to help you. But because the homework was so hard, you had to wait. Like there were some days where there's like 20 kids and like two people there to help. And you also had to pay for the coursework, which I think was probably about $30. So it does get pricey and it's annoying they have to buy your own stuff. And it's especially annoying because if you don't buy the coursework, then you will literally, like, you cannot succeed in that class without that coursework. So that's frustrating. That's it, I guess. You just have the online homework you have to do each week, go to discussion, go to lecture, and three exams. Okay, so one more thing that I totally forgot were M rights. So we had three different essays that we had to write, like, using statistic ideas and stuff. It wasn't that hard, I don't think. I think it was only like 500 words. And then you would submit your like first draft and then you had to like, it was a randomized peer review. So you would peer review three other people's and you'd be graded like on what you wrote. As long as you do what the rubric says, you're fine. And then you make the revisions and then you submit it. So I would say most people did well on that. I don't think that was that big of an issue. They were just kind of annoying to do. I did go to the campus tutors once again, like I did for Math 115. I guess I only went to them once, so I'm not sure if it was helpful or not. I think I just didn't feel like it was necessary for the other times, but campus tutors does offer help. Overall, they give you a lot of resources to help practice your stats and practice your whatever you need to practice, doing the online homework with R and R Commander, like those assignments that you have to do. Those are fairly straightforward. They do give you YouTube videos on how to do it. I had this class half in person and then we got sent home. So the other half was not in person. Still pretty same. You just watch the lectures online. We didn't have any discussion, which was nice. And the exams were online, which was a big issue because when we were taking the exam, the site crashed like we took it on coursework coursework was like down so there's so many issues and the exam ended up being open for 24 hours and everyone did well so it was like whatever but yeah overall i would give this class solid a it wasn't 
for me personally, it wasn't too difficult. I know some people did struggle. I believe that the average score is probably like a B plus to an A minus. So take that with what you will. If you took AP stats in high school, this class would probably be, be much easier. I did not, but I was still able to pick it up. So I guess it depends on like you and how you study and whatnot. So you can definitely succeed with literal zero stats knowledge. So yeah, um, let me know if you guys have any other questions and bye Mansers.